Hello friends, this is Normal here for Technique and in this video we will do a quick FAQ video on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. So this is the latest mid-range phone from Samsung, the J7 Max and this comes with quite good specification and uh, this is price 17 triple nine so in this video we'll uh, talk about uh, the most important aspects about this device it will be an faq kind of video so let's get started with the faqs first step let's uh, see the sensors available on this device so one of the uh, complaints with the most of uh, uh, the mid-range or a 20k uh, below phones from samsung is that they miss most of the sensors so how is uh, the samsung galaxy j7 uh, max uh, in terms of sensor performance you can see there is accelerometer uh, a gyroscope is included magnetometer is there proximity lens sensor is there there is ambient light sensor too so almost all sensors are included in the samsung galaxy j7 max so there is no sensor missing on the samsung galaxy j7 max next step let's talk about the display so this phone comes uh, with a tft display it's an uh, full hd display that's a 1080p display and uh, there is no corning gorilla glass protection on this display but the display quality looks pretty good even though it's a tft panel we're kind of disappointed with the tft panel being available on this device but having used this device the, de the display looks quite good you can see the viewing angles are pretty good and the overall clarity and the touch response feels quite good next let's talk about the sim card so this device comes with dual sim card and there is a dedicated sd card included so you can see this is a sim card slot sim 1 and sim 2 and micro sd card combined so it's not a hybrid sim card it's a dedicated sd card slot and this device comes with volte support now let's talking about the storage this phone comes with 32 gigabyte storage and out of which around close to 25 gigabyte is available in the first board next the fingerprint scanner so the fingerprint scanner is located on the front panel and this is the fingerprint scanner and the performance of the fingerprint scanner is pretty good and it also acts as the home button. Now let's do a quick uh, unlocking of this device using a fingerprint scanner. So it's quite uh, fast but uh, the display turns on uh, after a while but it's really fast and responsive. You don't have to press it just uh, tap on it and it unlocks the device. Now talking about the software, so this comes with Android 7.0 and uh, we have this new UI. It looks actually really good and it's more or less similar to the Samsung Galaxy S8 and you can see a lot of additional options uh, and advanced features, 100 more and uh, gestures are supported and uh, it also comes uh, with uh, the Samsung Pay Mini. There are some Samsung apps including uh, uh, the S Secure Mode, Smart Folder, etc. are included and it looks quite good overall. So that's the uh, software on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. So overall the software is a performing software and definitely looks good. Now performance aspect this uh, is uh, powered by uh, a MediaTek MT6757 uh, octa-core chipset. It's a Helio P20 octa-core chipset and uh, this is coupled with Mali 880 uh, T880 GPU and there is 4GB RAM and 32GB storage included. The performance of this device is quite good. The gaming experience of this device also was uh, pretty impressive with a 5.7 inch uh, uh, full HD display and the performance looked quite good even though the Helio P20 is not really a powerful chipset. The performance looks quite good. Now talking about the camera aspect, so it has a 13 megapixel rear and front camera. Rear camera is f-stop 1.7, there is an LED flash and the front camera is uh, again f-stop 1.9 and uh, there is a 13 megapixel camera with uh, LED flash. Now talking about the camera samples, it's quite good camera samples on this device. Uh, we have also done a detailed camera review of this device. You can also check out that uh, video uh, to see how good the camera experience is. Overall, we are pretty satisfied with the camera performance of the Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. Next up the battery performance so it has a 3300 mAh battery and the battery performance was quite good uh, we could get almost uh, four and a half to five hours of screen on time in our usage which is quite good performance uh, and uh, it has a 3300 mAh battery. Now the speaker performance so this device comes with speaker mounted on the side panel and speaker performance is quite uh, decent it is not very loud but moderately loud enough uh, uh, if you want to play uh, music or videos it's kind of uh, definitely decent performance all around. Next up let's talk about the USB OTG support so this device does come with USB OTG out of the box so we had done a, a different video on the OTG support so we'll just quickly show you the OTG support so once connected you can see the notification uh, uh, in the OTG I mean the OTG uh, disk is detected and this device comes with USB OTG functionality out of the box. 
next step let's talk about uh, the notification led so this device does not come a notification led as such but it has a really useful feature called the smart glow so smart glow is a functionality wherein when you get a notification this uh, the light around the camera glows and you can actually configure the uh, smart glow functionality we'll just quickly show you you can uh, uh, for any of the purpose you can just add the smart glow functionality and uh, you can uh, set the color say for example if if this is the color you can see the smart glow functionality right now in action so for each notification you can customize the colors and this is something really good on the samsung galaxy j7 max so this was available even in the samsung galaxy j2 which was released last year and finally talking about the availability and the price so this device is priced 17 triple nine and available only offline so you can buy this device from any retail stores and uh, the pricing of this device is quite competitive uh, for the specification it is being offered at. So these were the 15 point FAQ on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. Hope we have covered most of the aspects about this device. If you still have any queries, you can just drop a comment in the comment section and we'll be glad to help you out with your questions. So that's all guys with FAQ on the Samsung Galaxy J7 Max. Hope uh, you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit the like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos on the J7 Max. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.